Hey guys, in this JavaScript challenge, we are going to create a function that takes a string as an argument, and then each and every word in a string or in a sentence will be capitalized. So the first letter will going to be capital letter. So let's see how we can do that. First and foremost, I will going to create, as always, a function. Now, the function name is really up to you, but I'm just going to call this capitalized words. And then I'm going to say that I'm passing here a string as my parameter. And why don't we start again, as always, very simply by saying return, and then we're just returning the string. Now, what is going to be the plan of attack? Well, first and foremost, I would probably want to split it up again in the array, because I think this is going to be easier to iterate over it. So why don't we do that? We will start by saying that there will going to be a variable. The variable will be words. And why don't we do a string split method? that we're going to turn it into array. And I would want to split it in each and every space. So for that, we already know that I would need to have the quotation marks and the syntax would be like this. Now, if you want to double check it, as always, either we can return it or we can just do a console log. In my case, I will going to return it. And I can see that this will be my array. Okay, so what would be the next one? Well, I know that this is an array. And I know I can loop through an array. So I can loop over the array and I have a very, very nice and nifty method called map. Now, the kicker for the map is the fact that for the map, we will going to be passing here a callback function as an argument that will take an essence as an argument. Also, each and every item that is in the array and we're going to do something with that each and every item. So then why don't we do that? And I will going to do this as a arrow function. So I'm going to say, all right there will going to be a item, an argument, and that will going to represent each and every item in this array. So why don't we decide what we're going to do? And since this will going to be an arrow function, and I don't want the implicit return, since there's going to be multiple lines of codes, at least in one example, I will going to set up the curly braces. Now, again, this will going to represent the each and every item in the array. And the whole function is the callback function that takes this each and every item as a argument. All right. Well, why don't we first start the long way where I'm going to say, all right, so first I would want to get the first letter. So the variable first letter will be equal to a and now what? Well, I do see that this is going to be the string. So why don't we use another string method that we have, which is slice. So I can say word. So each and every item in the array, we're going to slice it. Now for the slice, we need to specifically say, well, what would you want to slice it? In our case, the index would be zero. So starting from zero. And for the first letter, I would want to stop at one. So just the first letter. That would be for the slice method. Now, next thing I would like to get rest of the string. So in this case, why don't we create another variable? We're going to call this rest. I mean, you can name this rest of the word. It doesn't really matter. And then we can just use word again, which will be our item. Again, we're going to use the slice method. However, in this case, we're going to say one. So return me everything from the one, from the index of one, everything that follows that. So in this case, we said start from zero and end with one. But here we're not passing the end because we're just saying return everything up to the end of the word. All right. Now, what else is missing? Well, obviously, the first letter would be nice if that would be capitalized. And the way we do that, we can just say first letter. That is our variable. And by the way, we can chain it obviously here as well. But I'm going to write it in new line just so we can see a little bit better what is happening. I'm going to say, all right, so first letter, we're going to be equal to a first letter. However, now we would want to use a two uppercase. That is obviously uh, also our method that we can use to uppercase. And now the last but not least, we obviously would want to return this. So I do have the first letter, then this should be capitalized. And by the way, we can obviously log it out if we would want. So we can say log first letter. And let's just make me sure that I'm actually console logging correctly. Then also I'm going to say rest. And why don't we just uh, comment out the return? And then I can see, all right, so I have I, then I have got up early today. And then obviously this is going to be undefined. These are my console logs. That's fine. But I know that everything is working. So the last thing is that from this map method, I would want to return to this variable because what's happening with map 
we are going to be transforming this array. But at the end of the day, we're still going to return a new array within the word. So what I can say in that in this new array, I would want to return. And just for change, we can do a template literal. And we can say, all right, so first of all, I'm going to get the first letter that will going to be the first string. And the second string is going to be the rest of the word. So, all right. Okay. So let me get rest of the word. And now let's see what I'm going to have. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to have the console log that I don't want, as well as at the end of the day, I would want to return the words. But the question probably would be, well, how are we going to be returning the words? Because this is still going to be an array. So everything is working fine. Each and every first letter is capitalized, but this is an array. Well, we know that we have the same. We use the split method on a string. We can use an array, the opposite one, which would be join, which would turn it into the string. But again, we need to be careful by saying, well, how we would want to join this, because what we would want to join is the words followed by the space. So in that case, I can say, all right, so there will going to be a quotation marks. And I'm going to say, all right, and I would want to have a space between each and every item, which will going to be our word. And yep, sure enough, everything works. Now, this would obviously be a long way because we have a little bit of concise method. So why don't we do this? I will going to comment this out just so you have it for your reference. And now let's just light a one liner. We can say return. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using character at method. So, right, all right. So, each and every word, I would be looking for the character and character where? Well, at zero index, right? Since I would want to target the first letter. So, I can say character at, and then I need to specifically like, well, which character? I'm going to say, all right, zero. And then we know that. We can do the old fashioned way, the string concatenation. We don't need to use it with a template literal. And I can just say, all right. So first and foremost, this will going to be to a uppercase. Uppercase, that will going to be my plan. And the second, I would want to add rest of the word. And I already know how I can get rest of the word. I can just use word dot slice. And then starting from index one, everything till the end of the word. So I can just use word slice and we can just say one and let's see whether everything comes up the same i think it does there is no error everything is working and this is how we can create a function that will capitalize each and every word in a sentence or in a string